Hello everyone, welcome back to day four of the Anna Awards. It's great to have you back. If you're new here, hello, my name is Anna and the Anna Awards are basically a week long celebration of all my favorite beauty products from 2019. And once again, we are super excited to be supporting an amazing charity from my home country of New Zealand called Hope for the Children. And it does an amazing job of financially supporting families with children suffering from anxiety. It helps to get them access to quality counseling that they might not otherwise be able to afford. Christchurch particularly has had a really rough decade with earthquakes, terrorist attacks and just has left the whole sort of region feeling really shattered and unsafe and it's really reflected in the children that are growing up there. Four out of five Canterbury children now suffer with some sort of form of anxiety which is just terrifying statistics. So, so if you do want to know a little bit more about them I'd highly recommend checking out my introduction video as well as downloading my Arna Awards 2019 handbook and this just has heaps of information on the charity. It also talks a lot about the impact that you guys had last year which was amazing. We raised nearly $5,000 and that money made a huge huge impact for that charity and the other great thing about the little handbook is there's little spaces for you to write in all the winners of this week so you can follow along each day there's an extra page and you can write in all the winners next to the awards and it's just kind of fun and interactive but in terms of making a real impact for hope for the children this year we're hoping to raise at least four thousand dollars that's our goal and to help us achieve that there's multiple ways that you can contribute the first is by making a donation we have a link directly to hope for the children in the description and every five dollars that you donate gives you an extra entry into the draw to win an amazing prize pack from Yesstar, which is a bunch of my favorite skincare and beauty products. I had a lot of fun picking those out for you guys. We also though do understand that for some of you, even donating $5 is just out of the question. So what you can do instead is watch as many of my videos this week, over this week. It doesn't have to be just the series. You can watch lots of the other ones as well. See if you've missed any from the year. Go hit catch up because I'll be donating my AdSense earned during this week period. And of course you can also make a difference by just sharing these videos and the social updates on your social media platforms, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, like just get the message out there. All of that helps and makes a huge difference to the success of this fundraising campaign. So thank you so much to those of you that have already donated. I do have live updates over on my Instagram stories and Twitter and Facebook and everything. Like I'm updating daily on how much we've raised. Um, so go pop over there if you want to know. But yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to those of you that have already opened your wallets to contribute to this amazing cause. But without further ado, let's get underway with day four winners for lips. Today is a much smaller video because even last year when I sort of spread out the categories a little bit more over many days, lips was still its own like category. So I did try to sort of stretch out and expand this category as much as I could. It's also not been a hugely experimental year for me in trying new lip products. I particularly I'm just trying to cut back on how many I have in my collection. I kind of know my real true favorites these days so I feel like these are all just like a lot of holy grails are going to be talked about today, which is cool because I feel like even if I'm not showing you guys like new products necessarily, I feel as if just getting that confirmation every year that like, yep, Anna still loves that product. I guess it, in some ways it helps you to know that like it really truly is a hugely like holy grail kind of product for me. So let's start with lip balm and I'm talking about lip balm in a pot. <laughs> I have a few different lip balm kind of conditioning categories. The first one is like a pottle lip balm and I use these specifically at night. So before I go to bed, I always put on a little bit of a pottle lip balm. <laughs> and the one that for me is the winner is the one that sits right next to my bed and I put it on nearly every night, but it is so expensive. And I honestly, guys, I wouldn't be recommending it if I didn't love it. Like if I didn't truly believe in it. It's by By Terry. It's the Bomb de Rose. It is something else. For me, there is no other lip treatment that has come close to being this amazing. There's something about it. It's so nourishing and beautiful and soft and pillowy, but it is hellishly expensive. It's about 80 something dollars, which is crazy. It will last you well over a year, even with daily use. Um, but I think if you are just in that position where like spending $80 on a lip balm is just out of the question, totally get it. Then there is one that I do get from Yes Style, which is quite nice. It's by the brand Clavu and it's their lip sleeping mask. I think it's better than the Laneige one that a lot of people talk about. Um, and it's a lot less expensive than this, but I do think the By Terry one is better. Like, I think if you're just wanting the best lip balm, buy this one. It's not life changing. It's not gonna heal heartbreak, is it? But if you've got chapped lips, it's really good. All right, the next category for me is lip balm stick. And this is something that I tend more to keep like in my handbag because it's a lot easier and sort of sanitary to apply than a pottle lip balm. And my favorite one is by Carmex. And this is their Moisture Plus lip balm. This is just the 
plain color they do make some beautiful other like soft tinted ones but for me just for every day i kind of like a neutral balm because it just goes with everything i really like this one because it leaves a really nice shine on the lips like it's got a really beautiful cosmetically beautiful look about it but it really also does help to fix my dry lips my next category is lip oil and this sort of category i really do believe it's like that perfect in between product between like a skincare treatment kind of product and a cosmetic well yeah cosmetic <laughs> cosmetic product i find lip oil so nice for conditioning the lips but they also provide a beautiful gloss so it's almost like just wearing lip gloss but one that isn't as sort of drying and my favorite one by far was the essence prettifying lip oil i've actually just run out of my last tube of that and unfortunately you can't buy it in australia and i've sent it from overseas and i think even then it might have been discontinued because you can't, I can't even really find it on websites anymore. I'm very sad. I hope they haven't discontinued it because I loved that product. But I am now kind of on the hunt for a dupe. I'm trying a few other ones and hopefully one day I'll find something as good as that. But that one for me was perfection. Right, so moving on to sort of colour cosmetics. First category is lip pencil. I sort of go through phases with lip pencils. Sometimes I use them every day and other times I'll go through like months where I don't use them. This product though was the one that I picked up very often this year like when I was going through my lip liner phase. This is what I was reaching for. It's the Essence Draw the Line Lip Liner in the shade. Um, the shade name is unfortunately rubbed off the side. I can't quite remember. I'll look through my old videos where I was using it and put it on the screen. When I want to use a lip liner, I'm mainly using it just to define my natural lip liner. So it looks a little sharper if I'm using like just a gloss or a balm or something on top. This one is actually quite a sort of mauve colour. So it's not really a true nude, it's more like a mauve. And I just use it very lightly. And it's like literally the colour of my lips. So it just is the perfect kind of nude lip liner for me. As much as I loved this and used it heaps, it has dried a wee bit as of late because I've had it for a while. And it's also broken. Like you can literally pull it out, which is really sad. And it's really hard to use now. So I feel as if I might actually need to get rid of that one. I have recently bought a new one that looks very similar from NYX but I've literally only owned this for about a week so I've got to keep testing it. I'll probably talk about that in a early favourites next year. Next I've got my favourite lip gloss formula and this was by far my Marc Jacobs lip gloss. Specifically this colour, Sugar Sugar. I don't own any other colour but this one, the Sugar Sugar lip gloss. It's like the cult favourite colour and I honestly don't feel like I need to because this is like the perfect nude lip gloss for me where it looks like a nude but it's not too light like I really love that look of like a light lip gloss with like a smoky eye or something but some of them can wash you out and I find like for me this is a really nice color that doesn't wash me out but looks not too deep because I also don't love the look of a deep nude on me anymore I sort of moved away from that I prefer like a true nude this one's amazing. If you're about my skin tone, then I'd highly recommend this color because it is beautiful. So my next category is for best bullet lipstick formula. And this was a no brainer for me. It is the Lisa Aldridge matte lipstick formula, the velvet mattes. These are so incredible. They're very much like game changing lipsticks. Like I feel like there's nothing else on the market like them. They're definitely worth the investment. I was very lucky and got actually my hands on these last year in her very, very first release. Um, I've got the two shades Velvet Jazz and Velvet Ribbon which are two of the red shades but I was a bit silly and didn't use them for about six months because they are literally so beautiful in the tube I just couldn't bear to ruin the print and to apply it so they just kind of sat there I was determined I was going to be doing some beautiful photography with them or something and then in the end I was just like I don't even stupid just wear the damn lipsticks the formula is like nothing else like they are matte lipsticks that don't actually dry your lips out but they look so soft and pillowy and they're just, they're pigmented, they glide on easily. The colours that I have are gorgeous. I did look into buying more in her recent launch, but there was only one colour that I was kind of interested in getting. Uh, but it was very, very similar to MAC Rebel and I already own that colour. I sort of ummed and ahmed for too long and then missed out on getting it anyway. So the universe kind of decided that one for me. But um, I definitely do see myself buying more of these in the future. I'm sure they'll get restocked because supposedly that was the most popular colour for this release. So yeah, absolutely love these. I think they're worth it. If you want to be notified of when she restocks these, because she only does it pretty much like once a year, I would just sign up to her mailing list because that's how I got the email about them. My next award goes to the best liquid lipstick formula and this is exactly the same as last year. <laughs> it is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. I've got about five or six of these little mini ones. I've had full sizes in the past, um, but I had had them for a long time. They were getting a little bit iffy looking and when I did my declutter I just kept a bunch of the little ones. I must say that I don't use them as often as I used to like 
pretty much I only wear them for like special occasions because I don't love liquid lipsticks for day to day wear but when I do wear them for a special occasion like today I think they're absolutely amazing the one I'm wearing on my lips today is Stila Baso Shimmer it's so pretty it looks like a Christmas bauble it's amazing I only ever wear this one at Christmas time so pretty much the month of December this is on my lips and no other month of the year but I love it for that reason it keeps it special but yeah this liquid lipstick formula is amazing though it's so pigmented I find it easy to apply because it's not too liquidy but it's also not so thick that it gets chunky so I really love it but now we're moving on to sort of specific color winners so my winner for the best nude color I nearly gave it to Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar but I have to go back to my OG and give it to Mac Blankety. When it comes down to it, this one truly is like the best nude lipstick for me. Particularly if I'm performing and stuff, because it does just show up that little bit more defined than the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. That's a beautiful nude for me for like day to day. Um, but I don't typically wear lip gloss on stage as much. I'd rather go for a real lipstick. And this color is just so good on my complexion. My favorite mauve lip color of the year is ALF's Tea Rose still. I know, I'm not really mentioning, as I say, very new colors or anything this year, but this is still my favorite Movi nude lip color. I sort of feel as if I could get rid of all my other ones, to be honest, because this, when I do feel inclined to wear a mauve, this is pretty much the only one I reach for. It's not a color I tend to wear as often as I used to. Again, I'd probably prefer to reach for a nude rather than a mauve. But for those days where I do feel like I need something just a bit more bold, this one is beautiful and it's so inexpensive. And as I say, I'm kind of at the point where I'm just like, might as well get rid of the other ones. I just don't wear them. I love that color. So then the next award is for best bright color that isn't a bright red. Because um, I had that's the next category. <laughs> when I chose this, I swear I was choosing like an orange. But when I actually looked at it, I was like, it's pretty much a red, but just an orange based red. So I didn't really stick to the proper category conditions that it should be a color that's not red. But it is for me, definitely the bright lip color that I reached for when I didn't want to wear a true like cherry red. It's by Lancome. It's one of their L'Absolu Rouge lipsticks, 198 Rouge Flamboyant. You just have to like push the little button and it pops open like that. And it's just such a nice, bold, bright kind of as I say, orange based red. I wore this one a heap over the summer in the Northern Hemisphere. So while I was over in the UK and Europe and stuff in July, I wore this one so much. It just really felt like it suited the season and I'm really looking forward to wearing it again this summer. My favorite berry color is, as I mentioned before, Mac Rebel. This is a color I've had in my collection for about five years, although this is not the same tube. I've, this is a repurchase. <laughs> um, but this is like the most perfect berry color for me for like sort of fall, winter. It just absolutely suits my complexion. I must say I don't wear it as often as I used to. I know I sort of feel like I'm saying that about every lipstick that isn't nude or red but the reason I don't feel as comfortable wearing bold lip colors anymore is because I have glasses most of the time I'm not wearing them today I've got contacts but most days I wear glasses and I feel like when I wear a bold lip with my big librarian glasses I feel a little bit too much like I feel like there's just something about it it's like the two are really competing so I typically only wear bold lip colors now if I'm not wearing my glasses um, which now that I'm wearing contacts quite regularly um, it means that I can experiment a bit more so probably this year you'll see me wearing more lip colors than I was this year <laughs> um, but yeah it just I think that was the reason the main reason I just felt like with my glasses it was too much competition but for when I did want a berry lip that one was beautiful and then my favorite red color it's what I'm wearing on my lips today but also the original matte color so Stila liquid lipstick in the shade of Bezo is the classic red this is a red I reach for throughout the year when it's not December but as I say every December I wear the Christmas bauble version which is Bezo shimmer I literally don't have another lip color that gets as many compliments as this especially from males which sounds creepy but it's not they're like my friends but they're just fascinated by the fact that it does look so metallic and sort of shiny they're just like how does that even work and I'm like I don't know but it looks it looks cool if you buy this lip color and you wear it you probably will get a lot of compliments so if that makes you feel uncomfortable maybe don't buy this one so those are all of my individual winners then we come down to lip brand of the year and I must say this was actually quite hard because there was no real brand that stood out um, over multiple categories or anything like I think MAC had two winners, Essence had two winners technically, but I don't know, neither brand was really like made a statement for me this year, they're just like tried and true favourites, but I think when I think about the, the lip product brand that really shook things up for me and like, you know, quite game changing, it would have to be Lisa's lipsticks, I think because they're so exclusive as well, it makes them even more exciting, so yeah, the brand of the year for me is Lisa Eldridge, 
I'm definitely keen to get some more in the future um, and I highly recommend getting on her mailing list so you don't miss out when she does launch restocks of these colors but also of new products. Alrighty, so that is day four all done. Once again, remember if you want to donate to Hope for the Children, there is a link directly in the description below as well as a link to where you can download your very own Anna Awards handbook. Even if you're only just joining us now, you can totally go back and watch the earlier videos remembering that I'll donate my AdSense so watch as much as you can this week if possible. If you want to know how much money we've already raised and make sure you pop over to my social media accounts I'll be updating them every day and once again thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for day five bye